Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Peaceful Ambition. Guys, today we are talking about our self-worth. Yes, self-worth. And we're gonna break that down a lot more, dig into the subject and just have the conversation as we always do here at Peaceful Ambition. If you're already part of the tribe, what's up? Welcome back. And if you are new to the tribe, make sure you hit that subscription button down below. So anytime a important message is dropped alive or whatever the case is that goes on with Peace with Ambition, you will be part of it. You will be officially part of the tribe. So make sure you hit that button down below. So guys, we're going to just jump right into the subject today because honestly, this is something that I feel like I talk about a lot, but not enough. I don't talk about this per se subject i talk around it and say you know you have to do this you have to do that but i honestly just want to talk about self-worth okay so first let's talk about the definition all right so people i looked up self-worth and the simplest definition i got was basically your self-esteem the internal feel of how you feel about yourself basically you know you feeling that you deserve things you feeling that you deserve love from other people just how you feel about you how much you think that you're worth it now i wanted to actually find the definition because i wanted to see how you know of course the dictionary defines it just to see if i can get some clarity behind it but honestly it's just what i thought it would be when you hear worth you think about like i said you know how much you know either from a price or how much someone is willing to sacrifice it means how much something how much you are how much you think that you are deserving of so when i talk about self-worth guys it has to start with ourself right we have to believe okay i know that i am worthy of having these things or i am worthy of having more respect or i am worthy of working hard to get what i can because i am worth it because i am somebody that deserves things and i'm not just saying that you know i'm worthy just because because i am me no i'm worthy because i know that the things that i've been through in life the things that i'm going through in life the things that i'm going to get past through in life are teaching me that i'm working for it i'm working towards it so i'm going to do just that now self-worth is not only about the things that we go for in life it's, you know sometimes you can look at how someone lives and you can say oh they don't care about them lives they don't love their lives so that's what i mean when i say you know the things that we're going for we're not okay with just living the same life having the same things around us we know that we are worthy of more so we're going to go for more and have more and do more in our lives now also self-worth can be seen as how we let other people treat us how we let other people talk to us how we let other people hurt our feelings and guys don't mind the background <laughs> i'm actually walking around outside of a building um daddy wise is getting his hair cut right now so i'm doing my message so don't mind the background and you know when i have a message on my heart i always just have to stop wherever i am and just do it so don't mind the background guys it's not even about that it's about what i want to say to you guys you know we have to believe that we are worthy more than what we're getting on a daily basis we have to believe that you know if we don't feel comfortable with the way someone is talking to us the way that someone is treating us the way that someone is not talking to us or not treating us we have to know that we are worth more than what they are simply just giving us because sometimes people we will think that we're giving our all to someone you know we will give them the utmost respect we will give them the utmost love and all those things and someone can half halfway give you those things and we will accept it because we don't know our self-worth because we don't think that we deserve just as much as as we're giving out. But we have to remember, if I can give it, then I can get it. Because I am also deserving of anything that I'm giving out. I also deserve to have the hugs and kisses, to be happy, to be proud and all those things, to be told that you're proud of me just as much as I say those things to other people. So we have to remember those things. And we, when we realize that the people around us or the things that we have around us doesn't reflect the self-worth that we have for ourselves, and that means that it's time for a change. Now, people, when I say that we have to make the change once we realize that we're not living up to our self-worth, we do. We have to make that change. And the reason why I'm stressing have to is because 
if we realize something in life and we don't do anything to change it, all we're doing is digging ourselves into a deeper hole, a deeper hole of not knowing who we are, of not realizing that change can happen, and also just a deeper hole of questions. You know, once we figure something out, we need to use those answers and to actually work those, you know, those questions that we have in our lives. We can't hold answers in our hands and hide them as if we don't know the answer because that's not going to get us anywhere. And I do that to myself all the time. Sometimes I know the answer to my own questions. I know the answer to my own struggles. But instead of me saying, this is what I really have to do, I'm gonna have to let go. I'm gonna have to upgrade myself. I'm gonna have to say no. I'm gonna have to move away. I'm gonna have to move to the side. I'm gonna have to move a little bit different. I'm gonna have to demand some things. I can know all these things in my brain, but if I don't use them, what are the, what's the sense of even realizing those things? What's the sense of holding these things in my hand if I don't utilize them? So once we know where we need to go, once we realize the mistakes that we're making, once we realize I'm not happy right here, I need to upgrade, we have to do it because we're just basically damaging ourselves on the inside. It's like drinking poison and knowing that you're drinking poison but thinking that you're gonna be okay. No, I'm not okay. I'm not okay. I know my self-worth and I'm going to do the things to change the way that I live now to reflect the self-worth that I have inside of me. And if that means letting go of people that don't see my self-worth, then so be it. If it means letting go of habits that bring me down, then so be it. If it means me changing my thought process, the people that I have around me, the way that I carry myself, then so be it. Because I realize that I have self-worth more than what I carry on a daily basis, more than anyone else has been giving me. So I'm going to change it right now. Tribe, if you feel like this message was for you or anyone that you know, make sure you share out this video. Peaceful ambition is about realizing things about ourselves that we can change about ourselves before we even look out into the world for change. It always starts with us, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. We have to remember who we are, remember why God put us on this earth, not just to be pretty, not just to be an entertainer, but to fulfill our life's purpose. Guys, remember, let your ambition be your peace. Don't let anyone or anything stand in your way. I love you guys. I love my tribe. I hope you guys are having a great Vlogmas. And no, I'm not doing Vlogmas on Peaceful Ambition, but I am doing it on my family channel, The Wise Family Five. Guys, go over and hit up my family channel as well as Andre and Tierra's world. Make sure you support my baby girl, Akira's journal. And that's it. I appreciate you guys. Find me on Facebook and Instagram also. And again, guys, watch nothing. Don't watch the background. I'm just delivering the message. Till next time, y'all. Bye.